Here we are, Beaver Press, the last day on this press, which leaves next week. In actual fact, this printing press, a two-colour printing press, a Roland, Parva, was going to China, and I could have been going out the door. But they had another printing press for me, a four-colour one. And what I'm doing here is, after you've done some printing for a while, you have to wash down and clean the printing blankets. They're a rubberized uh, blanket that fit onto a cylinder. Now, the printing plate, which is above there, puts the impression onto the printing blanket, which then goes onto the sheet as it feeds through the press. But of course, you have to keep everything nice and clean because you don't want spots in the job. And if you miss a spot, you could have a thousand sheets uh, worth a dollar each, no good. And that's why we have the printer's devil, because anything that went wrong was blamed solely on the printer's devil. Now what I'm using here, after doing the blankets with a uh, wet sponge and removing the paper, I am now cleaning the printing off the blankets with a solvent. And uh, yeah, you do this and then you start up nice and fresh again. Now that top unit has the printing rollers, once again rubberized, and that has the main principal colour, the black ink, that's for all your uh, writing and everything. And the bottom uh, deck usually contains a special colour or could be a magenta, cyan or yellow, that's blue, red or yellow. And that puts on the uh, second colour. And uh, anyway, it takes a little while, but it's certainly a bit of exercise. Now, this is lithography sheet fed printing, not the old driving letter press. We feed sheets in, as you can see a stack of paper there at the back. And here I am just starting it up. I'm just spraying on the dampers. The dampers put water on the plates. And where the image is, the image repels water and accepts the printing ink. And here I am getting the machine ready so I can start feeding the sheets down the press feeder board. Here I'm just making sure the stack of paper is right. I'm throwing on the impression. There you are, the printing handles come on and off I go. So the sheets uh, that are coming through first uh, have the blanket wash on them, the image of it, and they gradually come good. So the sheets up the scratch and you put a tag in and you pull out a sheet to have a look to see how it's going. Now what we have there is the delivery and you'll see the flyers, that's what they call with little arms on them, grabbing and pulling the sheet through. And the pipes above the uh, delivery, they, those pipes there, you see they're, they're air blasts and they help to settle the sheet down into the stack. And also at the back of the delivery is a thing called an anti uh, set off spray unit. This puts a powder on the sheet so the sheets do not stick together and they help the colour to settle and dry. Now you can see the uh, image on the blankets coming from the printing plate and that sort of is in reverse and then it just gets transferred as the sheet squeezes between the back cylinder. Now let's have a good look at the feed board. The sheets come down aided by those brush wheels and we have a side lay which pulls the sheet across to it to register the sheet so they're always in the same position. And here is the feeder head, a series of uh, suckers and brushes and blowers, um, all designed to separate those sheets and easily feed them into the machine. Now I've sped the machine up to about 7,000 sheets per hour 
and I've gone around to the back to start loading the paper on in my own offside. And sometimes there's either 500 in a packet or 250 sheets in a packet. It looks about 250 sheets in a packet. And uh, I could be doing this uh, for several hours a day while the printing press is going. Hopefully uh, everything is going well. And basically lifting about two tons of paper a day. I now go around to the front of the press to uh, check on how things are going. Now we look at the front delivery control board, the same as around at the back of the feeder. Once upon a time it all used to be handled, but now it's just push button and that was really good. So having checked the front, I decided to go back and load some more paper in. Magically, a lot more has loaded in since I was there. Anyway, I do my best to top up the stack. One of the things in printing is because it's such a dirty, dusty, business you always continually tidy to keep your work area clean around the printing press. So here I am disposing of the sheet packets and the pallet which I will use to make a stack on at the front. So here we are later in the evening as I uh, work the afternoon shift and here I am changing the plate with a T-bar spanner and obviously enjoying it very much. So you do this because the next section of the uh, uh, magazine that I was printing uh, needed to be uh, ready. To become a printing tradesman you do a four year uh, trades course apprenticeship at the Graphic Arts Institute in this case it was uh, the Sydney Tech College and uh, that qualifies you to become a printer you also must have an eye for uh, colour and all that sort of thing but towards the end of the 90s uh, bosses or management of printing firms would start grabbing people off the street and start showing them start them out as offsiders and then show them how to run a printing press why? because they didn't have to pay them as much the printing plates have uh, packing underneath. This is particular thickness of uh, cardboard for want of a better term. And it's a particular type of packing and it gets uh, built up to a certain height for it to be able to reach the printing blanket to leave an impression. And that was a single colour uh, section that I was doing there, um, which was red and uh, now I'm doing the top section obviously uh, where the main amount of type uh, was uh, set. This particular way of uh, undoing the plates was pretty much old hat then. Usually it was just a clamp at the end and you got your spanner and twisted it up. And that released the whole uh, locking uh, mechanism for the plate.
Well, here I am, upset at losing one of the best printing presses I had ever been on. It was a good little machine, and uh, I could always rely on it, and I looked after it like it was my own baby. But now, here in the 21st century, I can print a four-coloured job from my computer printer just as good as the job I printed on a million dollar printing press. Technology, eh? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, what may turn out to be a very historical uh, video uh, in regards to sheet-fed printing. Incidentally, this particular printing company actually closed in the early part of the 21st century, as did a lot of other printing companies and now the majority of printing, other than newspapers, is printed uh, overseas in places like Asia, China, India, all these places. Yes, a lot of jobs were lost here in Australia.